Right, okay, so bonus video today. I thought I'd show you how I turn a trainer that looks a bit grubby like that. You can't even see through the air bubble, hardly. Dirty, dirty laces into something that looks a little bit more like that. Cleaner, cleaner laces, see through the bubbles. Nice clean on the bottom. Right, okay, so. Let's get into it. Okay, so first thing you want to buy is this kit here, Rejuvenator. Um, I think they're around about 30 pounds. Basically you get a little bit of cleaning solution, uh, you get three brushes, so you get a soft brush, a medium brush, and a stiff brush. We're probably not going to need the stiff brush. Right, okay, so first things first, let's take out these laces. Nice time consuming job. Nearly there. Oh, come on. Right, let's put them to one side. Right, I've already got my cleaning solution there. With this, uh, you wanna open it up, two sort of quick squirts into just a little bit of water. We're not gonna need tons of water. Right, so we get our shoe tree. I think that's about where we'll need it. So we put our shoe tree in. Basically what we're doing is we're putting the shoe tree in so it makes there all nice and firm. So it's easy to clean. So we grab our soft brush, a couple of dips in the solution, just give it a little shake off, and just all over the trainer, sud it all up. Don't be scared. This brush is quite soft, so not really going to damage anything it can pull up uh, paint flakes so just bear that in mind if you have got any flaky paint on your trainers don't forget the tongue I'm gonna go all around get a little bit more if you need it all around the top inside the tongue like you can sort of see immediately just how much grime it's pulling off. Try and avoid going over the label if you can, because you might end up scrubbing the graphics off of the label. Right, so shoe, all nicely covered. So we put the soft one to one side, and then we grab the medium one, which is good for the midsole, but it's also good for like leather and stuff. If I was doing um, a more delicate, like suede or something, I probably would only go with this medium one if I absolutely had to. But look, you can see immediately, it's bringing all the color back into life again. And instead of it being all dingy and yellowy, Everything's coming back up much whiter. Okay, all over the shoe. Don't be afraid to go back for a little bit more solution. A bit of good old scrub. When your arms start to ache, that's when you know you're scrubbing enough. Same with the tongue. Don't go absolutely mental on fabric with this stiffer brush. Um, it can tear things. So just be a little bit more careful. Right, okay. So onto the bottom. Right, now you see 
all these stones that all get stuck in. I've got a little trick, so keep the bottom a good old scrub, just loosen up everything that you can. Bottoms of these are actually not in too bad a condition. If they are in really dirty condition, that's where the really stiff one comes into handy. So, with this, I'm just gonna force it into these cracks. And you see it just pulls out all those stones. And then you just go through and scoop them out. You don't have to use, obviously, a small paintbrush like this if you haven't got one, but if you're like me and have a young child, you probably have paintbrushes everywhere. But the end of like a, a spoon or something can do just as good of a job. Right, okay, so now what we're gonna do is get our towel and just sort of how dry everything just to see our work see if we need to go over anything again everything outside is looking pretty good And see like it we got a lot of the stones out but obviously you can come back in and just scoop out some others it just it, when you take pictures of the bottom of the train it just looks a little bit better if you've got all the stones that just stick into these little bits right okay so I'd say the outside of that looks pretty good I mean, obviously there is like the this bits are, are just not going to clean up. So, take out our shoe tree. Next thing, take out our inner sole. Because this is one of the things that holds a lot of the smell in a like trainer. Because obviously your feet are in it all the time. So, soft bristle brush, a couple of little dabs, and this should not pull off the. Uh, the stamp label because it's a soft brush but the suds will activate and clean the inner sole and you want to give it a good going over get all the suds all nicely foamed up there you go and obviously just give it a dab off now these trainers they're going to need to sit somewhere to dry obviously once you're done, because the next step, we're gonna go onto the inside. So you see all this, this yellow in from people's sweat and stuff when they put their feet in the shoes. We're gonna see if we can get rid of that or we'll get rid of as much as it as we can. We might have to go at it with a slightly stiffer brush, but obviously we'll try with the softer brush first. And if the softer brush does it, and we don't have to go in with a stiffer brush and risk potentially tearing anything. Oops. Now you can buy a, a detergent form of this rejuvenator and put the trainers in the washing machine and you do this and then put them in the washing machine and you'll be amazed at just how good they do come out. But I currently haven't got any, so I have to do it the old manual way, but I mean, if you just look at how much whiter that was, that is compared to what it was. So again, we just dab it all off. Put the inner sole back in, and mm, it smells lovely. It doesn't smell like mouldy feet anymore, and. I mean, obviously there's gonna be some of it that like, you could scrub and scrub and scrub and get that out, but you basically just want the visual of the shoe to look semi-decent. 
most people are not really going to be too concerned about that because they're never going to see in there. Now these, nice and grimy, more grey than white. Give them a good soak in your detergent. Now you can just do this with your hands, but I find if you do it with the brush, with the medium brush, you activate all the suds and it pulls out all the dirt much quicker than if you just do it in your hands. And look, look how much cleaner that's looking. You know, you, you save yourself a few quid by attempting to clean laces rather than having to buy laces if you can. I mean, you're never gonna get them perfectly white again, but if you put perfectly white laces onto old trainers, they really do stand out. Right, okay, so just dry your hands off a little bit. Then the way you dry these, just put it between the cloth like that, and just pull it through. Try not to go too far with pulling because you could tear the lace, but all that that's come out and I mean all right they're not brilliant white but they're a damn sight whiter than what they were so let's just relace this back up just watch me struggle Obviously when you relace these, make a nice job of it. I try and keep the, the lace not twisted. Twist it the best you can. It just looks that, that little bit better. You know, when you're trying to maximize profit on things, just putting in that little bit of effort, even if it only makes you a couple of quid more, it's still profit and when you're bored like I am because I'm currently I'm actually a, a key worker and I look after a couple of disabled lads that's what my wristband is I'm currently working nights so during the day I'm bored like most people which is why you're getting videos out of me at the moment But yeah, just take a little bit of time with the shoe. Just make it look a little bit nicer. Again, some people might say this is more effort than it's worth spending time making the laces look nice, but I think you get back what you put in. And if you just put in that little bit of effort, things just look nicer. I mean, they're like the desires, the person that buys it, the laces are going to get all twisted up and everything anyway, but. And there we have it. Put the shoe tree back in just to make it look nice. And there you go. Look how much better they look. Much more appealing. You know, we could have added maybe five or 10 pound value onto them just by giving them a clean. Definitely recommend these kits. 100% recommend them. I've tried cleaning the shoes with just things like washing up liquid and stuff in the past and they do an okay job and I've bought just random brushes and stuff but these kits are just a little bit better right okay anyway so that is just a quick video on how to clean trainers and that I recommend the rejuvenator cleaning kit okay guys 
hope you enjoyed the video make sure you keep safe i'm going to clean all this up i'm going to clean my hands and i'm going to anti-back everything i'll catch you in the next one see you later